only three nationalities, four players from Indonesia, three from China and one from Japan. That makes it the least diverse of all five disciplines. Semi-final stage, two seats, one in each half of the draw, and only two different nationalities. But the two Indonesian pairs are through to make it a second consecutive all-Indonesian men's doubles final. Well, as far as the race to the World Tour finals are concerned, whether Alfie and Anadianto win or lose today's final, they will go up to number one. Hassan and Seti one aren't even on that list. They're currently 16, but they will definitely enter the top 10. If they win at number seven, and if they lose today's final, they'll come in at number nine. So, Rate the announcement of the players. Let's welcome the players. Give it up for the number one seeds. Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Arian Adianto, the world number one ranked pair in their first All England final when making their sixth appearance at this event. They've already won the first Super 1000 tournament of the year, the Malaysian Open. And they're following on the most magnificent year last year. Eight finals from 16 tournaments played. That's 50% of all tournaments played. They reached the final. And let's have a huge burning of welcome for the number three seeds. Also from Indonesia. Setiawan, their fourth All-England final as a pair. They were winners in 2014 and again in 2019. It's a second consecutive All-England final because a year ago they lost to Fikri and Mulana, another Indonesian pair, in the final. It's their first final of the year. And what an incredible record these two players have. Three-time world champions. Four world championship finals as a pair. Well, this will be a sixth meeting between these two pairs. And of the previous five, Asan and Seti one actually hold the advantage. The older players, they've won three of the five, including the last time, which was the semi-final of the World Black Championships year. last year in Tokyo. This side. So, so former World Champions, the Sun and Seti won, winning the toss of the coin and have chosen ends. So they will change ends before the start of the warm-up period. Two minute warm up period. Well, by reaching this final, Hindra Setiawan has achieved the most remarkable record. He first reached an international tournament final back in 2002, and he's reached and contested a final every year since. That's 22 consecutive years. But this is Fajar Alfian that turned at 28, 12 days ago. And he and his partner currently world number ones. Born in Bangdung in West Java, and they are enjoying their 12th consecutive week at the top of the world rankings. Mohamed Rian Adianto turned 27 last month, and as I was telling you, a remarkable year last year. Eight finals from 16 tournaments, winning four titles. And it's the reason they are number one in the world. Well, 
in the first round here, they beat the uh, beaten finalists uh, from the German Open last week. They needed three games there. They came from 7-13 down in the deciding game. Quarter-final, they played against last year's champions, Fikri and Mulana. And a semi-final, uh, they beat Herji Ting and Zhao Hao Dong. So, as far as the Indonesians are concerned, in the background there you can see Mohamed Hassan, 35 years of age, from Palembang in South Sumatra. He and his partner have been world number ones 38 consecutive weeks uh, back at the end of 2013 until August 2014. Hindra Setiawan is making his 15th, Ready to 18th play. appearance at the All England Championships. He's 38 years of age, born in uh, Pemalang in central Java. And as a pair, it's their 10th appearance and their fourth final at the All England Championships. Beat teammates in the first round, uh, then the French pair who've been promoted from the reserve list. And then in the quarter-final and the semi-final, two Chinese pairs and went to three games in both. And what a thriller the semi-final was against Liang and Wang. Saved three match points, one on their sixth match point opportunity, 29-27 in the deciding game. Paul Buffum from England is our umpire for this one. And Daniel Wolf from Austria, our service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Fajar Alfian, Mohamed Brian Adrianto, Indonesia. And on my left, Mohamed Hassan, Hendra Setiawan, Indonesia. Fajar Alfian to serve, to Mohamed Hassan, Love all. Play. So the former champions, the two-time former champions nearest to us as we're looking down on the court. Hassan and Sadioa. Setiawan. Up against the one world love. number ones, Alfian and Ardi Antal. played in that semi-final of the World Championships in Tokyo last year, Steen, I thought that Alfian and Ardianto looked rather nervous. I think, I think nerves got the better of them. I think so too. I think they look extremely nervous, especially Mohamed Ardianto. Well, I think there's one thing we can be certain of in this match. I don't think Hassan and Setia one will be all that keen to play long rallies no. at the age of 35 and 38. Service 
It's a bit concerning as far as Hassan and Seti are one concerned that they've lost their last seven finals. Five of them were last year. Oh, that's well played. Well taken by Seti Awan. In fact, the last time they won a title was back in 2019, the World Tour Finals title. game here could be very important in my opinion either more pressure is applied to the world number ones or they um, win this first game and uh, loosen up a little bit yeah, relax and, yeah. and then potentially start to dominate and they were under pressure yesterday by um, someone said to one against the uh, Young and uh, Wang Chang. And I must seven. say that um, I've rarely seen a more nervous player than uh, Yang Wei King. But still, the match went the full distance. And um, Wang Chang Hi. played amazingly. Uh, one of the very best front court players in the world. And I also rate um, Alfian as one of the best front court players in the world. So maybe he's the best one. 11-7. Uh, I will get just as nervous as Liang. So we're already at the mid-game interval. Only six minutes played. Seconds. Setting a one are independent players. No Indonesian coaches involved, moving the players to their own devices. Yeah, we still practice with the uh, 11 7 national team. That's an incident. Alfian and Adianto were up 15-7 in the first Seven game, ended up losing it anyway. 12-8. Hey. 
So, super important here from the GOAT. The smash from Seti Uwai didn't have enough on it. Yeah. He was off balance. Yeah. And one of the goals is to make, um, especially Seti Uwai, move before he's um, about to hit. Service over. 9.13. One. I think he was the best front court player in the world. Yeah. Short. Oh, that's brilliant defence from Hendra Setiawan. 11-13. Uh, Jim, I think you have a phone call. It's Matthias Bull calling. <laughs> <laughs> Former All England champion Matthias <laughs> Bull wanting to argue that he was the best oh. front court player. No, at least, no. at least want the argue. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think uh, he respects uh, Hendra Setuan as much as we do. 11. Set is halved from the uh, mid game into Well, as we suspected, we're having very short rallies, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Four players knows exactly which buttons to push. But I think one of the interesting situations is uh, for Alfian because. Here, his job is, I mean, if he uh, wants to be regarded as the best front court player, here we know that his partner is getting really, really nervous. So his job is to protect him. He cannot just play his normal game. He's got to uh, play smarter. He's gone that, wide. Yeah. And that's certainly not smart, is it? No, that's adding 14. to the um, troubles, pressure. Hey. That the um, one ones might feel. That's well, a beauty. Prior to that, Sam City won and won seven of the last eight 15. points. Hey, ball. Hey. Since you're pointing to uh, yeah. someone with a flashlight 16, or the 15. torch on the phone. good as you could uh, expect playing with the drift lacked a little bit of height but um, get him oh. to and moving get him out in the open space Movement. There, the drop shot. Yeah. 
slightly slow back to the base position and then he can't get himself set for the defensive shot from Seti Yuan. 1916. 20, game point, 16. Yeah. By the former champions. So four game point opportunities. Service over. 17-20. Yeah, I love a city hey. one. Yeah, most Robinson fans do. Twenty-one seventeen. First go one by Fajar Alfian, Mohammed Rian Ardianto, twenty-one seventeen. Just fourteen minutes for that opening game. To Alfian and Ardianto. <laughs> attention that he's going to be receiving. Second game. Love all. Play. Most of the attack One, from Alfian and Ardianto is directed at Hendra Setia One. Yeah. That's a clever play, in my opinion. Oh, that's excellent play from Alfian. Love. Just not able to replicate the sort of form they showed yesterday against Liang Wei Keng and Wang Chan. At the moment, yeah. I think pretty much they are. It was just, I mean, I've never, I've rarely seen a player as nervous as Liang Wei Keng. 
That was... He must have had an awful experience in there. That's a beauty, isn't it? What a lovely disguise rock from Mohammed Hassan. Setting a one. Two, four. Hey. Three, four. Service situation. It's going to be super important. John and Hassan hitting a little bit with the drift, so gets a lot of bite in there, pressure shots. Oh, yes. I thought that rally may ignite them into the sort of form that has brought them to the final. Wonderful. What an angle on that final shot from her son. Hey. Service over. Five, four. Well, we're guaranteed there's a pair from Indonesia, obviously, with an all Indonesian final. So it will be a sixth a pair Service of Indonesia over. winning five all in ten All England Championships, the last ten. Service over. Six. I should actually five. rephrase that because there's only three different pairs from Indonesia who've won those five previous from the last nine All England Championships. Uh, Fikri Maulana Seven, last year and then Minions and uh, Asan Sechewan. That's right. Gideon and Sukumol, your two, and of course the pair are on court. Hey. Hassan and Seti won two previous yeah. titles. flat game Ralfian should often leave it to um, Arianto because I think there's possibilities of blocking it in front of um, Asan in a lot of situations because they clearly Seven. want Setsuan to uh, come forward Eight. Gone 
Well, that definitely has. So it's over. Nine, seven. this uncanny hey. ability to have his racket in the right place at the right time. Seven, uh, seven, uh, court. 11, 8. So Interval. it's a three-point advantage for the current world number ones, Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Ardianto. <laughs> Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Crunch time for the two time former champions, Mohammed Hassan and Mohammed They've got to start imposing Play. themselves on the rallies. Otherwise, ah. current world number ones, Alfian and Ardianto, will ah. run away with this. No. That's a beautiful okay. place smash right in between these two opponents. Eight. So far. Adian to win much more confidence, probably also Alfian, when we saw them at the World Championships. Oh, Clever yeah. flicks. Oh, yeah, that would have been a, a very good trick shot, that one. 13. Unfortunately, eight. a double hit. Fian, but it was purely effective. Eight. The intent was clear. Smiling and uh, said to him, 
No, 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 no. Still closing that down. Hey! Hey! Service over. 15, 9. Time is running out for a son and set you on. And the fear and Arianto marching towards their goal. Excellent. 16 9. Something extra, the that is something Wait. special happening oh. that can inject a little bit of um, doubt in the minds of Alfie and Arianto. Oh, that's a good play, though. So, it's over. 17, 10. Service over. 11 18. Good flicker. 12 18. It is championship points. 20. Match point. Ooh, something happened 14. to our son. Oh, he's down. Oh, oh dear. That was his was... knee. Oh, no. And his opponents immediately rushing over. This doesn't look good at all. Dear, dear me. Well, Indonesian teammates, they all get on extremely well, and there's real concern from Alfian and Ardianto. Oh, this does not look good. Well, well. Oh, 
is testing the ligaments. Mohamed Hassan retired. Yeah, yeah. he has to retire. That's tragic. No, correction. Well, I have a feeling he's going to go on to court so that yeah. his yeah. opponents I think so. can actually finish the match and declare themselves champions by winning the last point. That's a great What gesture. sportsmanship. Well, 20, this is 14. just a formality. Game. Well, they have always conducted themselves in a very sportsmanlike conduct. Hassan and Setia one exemplified by the fact that I think we really ought to be taken off court. He's in real physical distress. This is awful to watch. But he wanted his opponents to win fair and square. Well, it doesn't look too good. Match won by Fajar Althian. Mohamed Rian Ardianto, 21-17. 21-40. Umpire confirming that scoreline of 21-17, 21-14. What tragedy for Mohamed Hassan. 33 minutes. And Ardianto over to talk to Mohamed Hassan. Well, I think he needs help getting off the court. And I think there's maybe a, a wheelchair coming. Yes. Yeah. This really is terribly sad, isn't it? You could sit there a little while. Huh? We're going to have uh, an interview with Alfian and Arianto. Yeah. The final rally. Well, it was a non rally, really, wasn't it? Uh, but I thought it was nice the fact that was it Ardianto was serving? He, he didn't flick, he just basically no. put the shuttle over. Yeah. And that was that. He, he knew that here we go. The net shot reply and Hassan <laughs> gives his opponents that moment of victory. They had six match point opportunities anyway. The strong probability was they were going to win anyway, but it is so sad to see any athlete injured, but one that's been so remarkable as Mohamed Hassan is even more tragic. Well, the winners are courtside. Let's hear what they have to say. Let's hear from our new Men's doubles champions Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Arianto of Indonesia. Before, gents, before we talk about you and your performance, let's just uh, take a moment to uh, comment on that that moment there. Mohamed Hassan obviously he's got, uh, was injured at the end, but he wanted to finish the match on court with you, and not on a retirement, but to, to see you win the point. Your thoughts on that? Bagaimana rasanya uh, tetap uh, melihat Aksan tetap bermain meskipun cedera? Tadi bagaimana rasanya Fajar dan Rian melihat babah Aksan cedera tapi tetap ingin melanjutkan pertandingan? Ya pertama-tama Alhamdulillah bersyukur uh, diberikan kemenangan hari ini meskipun uh, Bang Aksan cedera memang ada senang ada sedih karena uh, pertama kita bisa menjuari All England tapi yang kedua uh, senior kita juga ada cedera dan semoga tidak parah jadi ya campur aduk rasanya 
it's a mixed feeling uh, knowing that today for the first time uh, I win the tournament but also uh, we know that uh, Baba Hassan is injured we wish him speedy recovery a wonderful sporting gesture all round let's talk about winning you've written a, a new page in the history book what does winning this wonderful old tournament mean to you Bagaimana rasanya bisa menjuarai turnamen All England? Ya pastinya uh, sangat bangga, sangat terharu juga akhirnya bisa menjuarai di turnamen All England ini yang sangat bergengsi ini. Di mana di tahun lalu juga uh, kita sempat kalah di babak pertama ya dan alhamdulillah di tahun ini kita bisa menjadi juara. Of course, um, I'm over the moon. Um, All England is one of the most prestigious tournament in the world. And knowing that last year we lost in the first round, so we are, of course, very, very happy. And uh, I know it's a, a really tight team that you have, a really successful team. Will you be taking your teammates out for dinner tonight and paying the bill? Persaingan sangat ketat di men's double Indonesia. Siapa yang akan mentraktir kawan-kawan nanti malam? <laughs> ya, yang pasti uh, ini sudah apa ya? Sudah tradisi di ganda putra. Jika ada yang juara itu harus mentraktir semua ganda putra. Tapi teman-teman saya juga yang lainnya sudah berangkat ke Swiss Open tadi pagi. Jadi mungkin nanti di Indonesia aja traktir. <laughs> Oke, okay, whoever the win, whoever is the winner will uh, treat all of the players. But fortunately, many players uh, fly to Switzerland this morning. So it will be in Jakarta. <laughs> it will be, be a cheap deal. Uh, finally... Well said. Good sense of humour. Finally, the, the fans here, the Indonesian fans this week, have been crazy. What is it like to play with an arena like this going absolutely nuts, shouting your name? Penonton di arena Birmingham sangat-sangat gila para badminton lovers. Bagaimana rasanya mendapat dukungan yang luar biasa? Ya, luar biasa sekali ya. Kita seperti berada di Indonesia, di rumah kita sendiri. Sangat luar biasa antusias di Birmingham Arena ini. It's been very, very wonderful week. Uh, we play like in Jakarta. We feel very, very at home. Let's hear it for our champions. Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Adia to Indonesia. take anything away from Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Ardianto who apart from their first round match against last week's beaten finalist Kang and Seok from Korea have won all of their matches in two straight games Sportsmanship at its best. No, they really have been wonderful Indonesian fans here this week. We've really loved having them here. So, Steen, it's a terrible way for the men's doubles to end, isn't it? But 
we really have seen some terrific matches. I mean, that match of Hassan and Seti won yesterday, that's going to live in my memory for a long time. Yeah, that was that was um, a really good win. And I mean, if an injury were to stop a final, then uh, perhaps this was um, one of the um, um, times of the final where it didn't mean that much. I think there's a 99.5% chance that Alfian and Adianza would have um, emerged the winners. But of course, uh, really, really bad luck for Mohamed Hassan. I wish him a speedy recovery. Yes, we all do, and we certainly hope we see him back here at the All England Championships again next year. But, you know, the older you get, the longer it takes to recover from injury problems. We all know that. Um, so I do hope that we will see him again. So the fans await for the prize presentation. So we can just recap on what's happened as we wait for the prize presentation. It all started with the women's doubles and Kim So Yong and Kong Hee Yong won in two straight games. Very comfortable about against last week's winners, uh, they, Hanar and Lee So Hee in the uh, German Open. Uh, then it was mixed doubles, and what a thriller that was uh, with the reigning and three-time world champion Shen Wei and Wang Yaxiong uh, picking up their second All England title four years after their first. But all credit to So Siang Jae and Che Yu Jung, who put up a brave fight. We then saw a superb women's singles with An Se Young beating the Olympic champion. 21-19 in the deciding game and of course that disappointing and sad end to the men's doubles. Please welcome. Please welcome our presentation party for the victory ceremony for the men's doubles. The victory ceremony for the Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships 2023 men's doubles. Chief Executive of Badminton England, Sue Storey, and Event Commissioning Manager at Birmingham City Council, Gary Peel. The 2023 men's doubles runners up from Indonesia, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawa. On to the podium by both his partner and his opponents. A fourth England, all England final for this truly remarkable Indonesian pair. The Yonex All England Open Badminton 2023 Men's Doubles Champions from Indonesia, Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Arianto. Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Arianto. The fourth different pair from Indonesia to win the All England Men's Doubles title in the Super Series and World Tour era. World number ones winning their second Super 1000 title of the year. The winning shuttle and the trophies, the coveted trophies.
the Yonex All England Open Badminton Men's Doubles Champions, Faja Alfian and Mohamed Rian Arianto. So coming up next, the last of our finals, it's men's singles, Lee Shifeng in the final, in his debut, up against the former champion, Shi Uchi. So welcome back to the Utilita Arena here in Birmingham on finals day at the Yonix All England Championships. Just one more final to come. It's an all Chinese affair. Li Shi Feng up against the former champion Shi Yu Chi. Well, as far as the men's singles draw is concerned, by quarter final stage we were down to three seeds.